Hey there makers, it's Craig from the Barefoot Forge. Welcome back. Hey, today I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about how much I hate my chop saw. I have an abrasive chop saw, you know, the kind that uses a 14 inch giant version of a cutoff wheel from an angle grinder. You know, that scary thing, but a way bigger version with more horsepower. And I have a good one and I absolutely hate it. That thing, when it's not trying to kill me, is trying to kill me. I hate it so much. It produces a horrible cloud of nasty dust that settles upon everything while making sparks I'm convinced are hot enough to burn my shop down and enough noise that it's one of like three things in the whole shop I need to put on hearing protection for. So it's always disgusting, it's always dangerous, and I really hate it. I'm so excited to finally replace it. We're gonna replace it with this. This is a cold saw. It is a carbide tipped, solid steel bladed, steel cutting chop saw from our friends here at Evolution Power Tools. And this is supposed to be pretty awesome as a replacement to that stupid chop saw. I hate that thing so much. Um, this is supposed to be able to cut through everything I do in the shop and I know this because I went to my metal supplier, the guys that cut all my stuff for me, and I said, hey guys, you know what I buy, what saw should I own? And they said, we have this evolution, it's what we cut most of your stuff on and it honestly works great. One of the things I hate the most about that chop saw, the abrasive one, is the blade deflects once you start pushing through some thick stuff. So if you're cutting two inch squ uh, square tube or, or even angle iron, the blade won't come down perfectly straight and you're not left with a good miter. This is supposed to solve that. So moving forward, I want to make more furniture and weird crap, and I want this thing to be the tool that does it. I'm thankful to have partnered with Evolution to bring you this content and, uh, and, and show this off in the shop. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. If it's terrible, um, it's going to get replaced with something else. So uh, for now, let's just, well, let's replace the thing that I really hate. Let's see what's inside. This is gonna be fun. So we've got our old danger blade here. That's the best way to open boxes. Instructions, and uh, one of these. This is a black thing that looks, it might be a handle. It's probably a handle. It'll probably make more sense soon. What is this? Okay, brushes. It comes with brushes, so it's not a brushless motor, and it comes with spare brushes. That's interesting. Ooh, look at that. Pretty dense, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, the Evo Saw 380. Very nicely packaged, very durably packaged. It's got uh, all kinds of things on it. It's got some oil on it, I like that. That's a good thing. You actually want it to come covered in oil so it's not covered in rust. I'm really excited to cut miters with this thing. I'll tell you, I really hate the saw that I have. I don't know if I've mentioned that yet. Okay, that's nice. The little, uh, the thing for holding it down, there's a little spring detent in there. Okay, let's see here. How's this function? Well, let's, let's bring you in and show you what's going on. <laughs> I moved the camera and now we can see things differently. So, here's what we've got. It's got a big spring, makes the thing go back up. I like that, that's more powerful than the saw that I hate. I don't know if I've mentioned I hate that other saw. It's got a big old hand wheel here. So this is a feature I like. So this hand wheel is how you tighten it, but you can also, you can move her rough, right? So you can get it approximate. Then you drop that half nut down, throw that out. Give it a few of these. That's nice, and this gives it all the pivots. Get a little angular, so it slaps all the way against a rest for 45. That's nice. That one just does like 44. Um, so that's that gives you dead on, but all your angles in between, yeah, a little more finicky. But you got a nice miter engaged there, so that you can, you know, make it not suck. Okay, and then it also comes back against a stop back here for your zero. That's pretty slick. I'm a fan of that. Anyway, we got the adjustabilities on here so that you can give it a little bit of this or the that, depending on how she wears, because they always do that. I don't know why. I think part of the, the lore of this saw is that somewhere in here, all the little chips, and yes, I mean chips, instead of random dust, are collected in this fine little bucket, which is actually really impressively stamped. <laughs> Okay, overall, so far, I'm saying good things. Now it's got no blade on it, and I got both the steel and the stainless steel cutting blade to try them both out to see which one works better. So uh, I think we should cut something. Well, we should set it up first, and then we should cut something. Let's do that. 
Oh, it's you again. Hey, you're still there. Anyway, uh, I got some different blades to try. This is the steel blade, and you can see it's got all the little carbide teeth on there. It says ultra high grade carbide. It's the ultimate in cutting technology. That means it's the best. And then we've also got this one. This one's for stainless steel because it says so right there and it's yellow and it's got the ultra high grade carbide. It is also the ultimate in cutting technology. Again, a reminder that that makes it the best. It's made it just depends on how many teeth you want, really. I'm excited about this. These are supposed to last as long as about 20 of the abrasive saw blades. And I believe that because I regularly go through about 20 abrasive saw blades. I'm a guy, so I'm gonna start by pretending that I read the instructions. I'm gonna take them out of this bag and look at them vaguely. It's part of my culture. Then I'm gonna make sure that I lose these promptly. I do see there's a three-year warranty on this. That sounds pretty awesome. This is the original instructions. It says original instructions, in case you thought you had a, a reprint. Ooh, I'll read them. I'm gonna read them. I'll come back to you. Friends, this is pretty slick. That thing that stops it at zero degrees so that you got nice straight miters, that's a weird extra long custom made Allen wrench. And as far as I can tell, it's the same in both directions so you can't put it in wrong. Anyway, this was an expensive thing for them to make instead of just sourcing a normal Allen wrench. So it functions there, it stays there, you don't lose it. And then this Allen wrench is what you use to open up this cover. I gotta say, that is some slick stuff. Friends, it's the same Allen wrench you use to put in a, a blade. That's just slick. And then you push down on this nice thing. Oh, it's got the spring in it. Oh, yes, that's so satisfying. I've seen basically only tools that suck more than this. And we're gonna try to open this packaging without cutting and hurting ourselves. So we'll use a single-edged razor blade with no safety mechanisms to do so. Releasing the hopefully super sharp saw blade without making any holes in our body. Yeah, I think we should do this. So I got some safety stuff. I got the, uh, the safety glasses. These are the Pittsburgh Dad version. I got these in the link below. We got some ISO tunes. These are 27 decibel OSHA certified here in protection. And we're gonna start by cutting a piece of two inch square tube. We'll just give it a nice straight cut here, see what she does. Give that a quick approximate. All right, give that a little bit of tightness here. Let's go for it. What's the worst that could happen? Power! Friends, I got some positive things to say about that. That was just, that was an absolute treat. That was a delight in every capacity. Let's try doing a 45. We would just loosen this bad boy, give it a little of that, all right? Take one of these, give it a this, bring it over to here till we hit that detent. Ba bam, right? Give it a tightness. Feels a little arbitrary, but you know, <laughs> isn't everything in life. Let's see what it does. It's, uh, it's very even. I don't have any of the weirdness of the saw that I hate. Yeah, it's, it's quieter. That is a really clean cut. I am very impressed by that cut. Uh, it doesn't seem to hesitate at all. Plenty of horsepowers. And I mean, this is, this is tube. This isn't a very great test of things. Let's try some solid bar because I mean, honestly, if it can cut solid bar, that's the test. That's a nice quick adjustment. I'll tell you what, that is, I don't even need any tools. I need to find about seven tools to adjust the other one. Let's find some more metal. Friends, I don't know what this is, but it's pretty big. It's probably about inch and three quarters. That's solid steel, as far as I know. Let's we'll see what she does. This is a real test of the performance. to be about the craziest thing I've done in a while. Um, that just doesn't care. 
That is a real pleasure to use. I don't really intend to cut things particularly larger than that. I am very excited about this saw. A couple things I am noticing. It does spray the chips. Maybe I'm pushing too hard. I gotta learn a little bit. Uh, and right now I have it on an old lathe stand and it's just not very stable. So, let's try it on their stand. Huh. Well, we got this fancy stand too, so we might as well put her to use. This looks pretty slick. This looks, oh yeah. She folds up nice. You just do a couple of these and she's, she just comes back together, comes right back to life. And with a little bit of arguing, make the legs longer. I'll do that. You could use this in off-road terrains where it's balanced precariously on a mountainside because you can make all the legs different heights. You don't want to overclick it. Wow. It's a tangible amount of knobs and things. I should find the directions for this. I put it together. Look at it. I don't know what this does. This, this still makes no sense to me. This is clearly not a stop, but this is an adjustable work rest. So you have this, and if you got long bars, you know, and you want to bring it up, or I don't know, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can do that. Well, hopefully this is useful to you. Uh, I'm really excited about it. The build quality is there. I'm excited about the cut quality I've seen so far. I'm gonna put it to use and I'll do a follow up once we've put a couple of miles on her, but I'm really excited to cut some stuff up with this. Thanks for tuning in. You know to do the things where you click the, I'm not even gonna tell you. You got it. See ya.